Yo, what is going on guys? It is non-reality. In today's video, I am bringing you a beginner's guide to crystals. Now, since this is a beginner's guide to crystals, I'm basically just going to be explaining like what crystals are, maybe some uh, examples of what crystals you could be using early on in the game. If you need any help on mid or end game crystals, just go to your class's discord, which they usually have a channel for like crystal uh, guide, which will basically lay out which crystals your character uses in PvP, PvE, um, and even different types of sets based off of how much they cost. If you need to know how to get to your class Discord, just go to the BDO official Discord. And then from there, you can find your class Discord in the community Discord section. Now, to get into the guide, what are crystals? Let's start out with that. So crystals are basically an item that uh, buff your character in specific ways. So if we look at my crystals here, I have some that do accuracy and ignore resist. These give AP and crit hit damage. There's some uh, damage reduction. There's a bunch of stuff that these crystals do. So they are really nice to have even at a starting point. Now let's quickly talk about how do we get these crystals. The, the easiest way to get the crystals is from the central market. And then you go down to magic crystals and you have your PVP crystals and then some life skill crystals and whatnot and other types of crystals. Um, here there's everything from, you know, 32,000 all the way up to 1.8 bill crystals. Um, there were even higher ones that you I don't even think you can make right now or they're not in stock. I'm pretty sure there was like crystals that were like five bill. Uh, they might have went down. I'm not sure. But yeah, there's a ton of crystals to choose from. And then the, another way of getting the crystals, which I don't recommend doing this to actually get the crystal. But when you're farming spots, like since this is a beginner's guide, maybe you'll be farming blood wolves and you'll get this right here and you'll be uh, shocked because you think it's actually this uh, pop piece, but it's not. It's this one. You can then use simple alchemy on this to turn it into a crystal, which then I would recommend from there selling it and then buying the crystals you need. Anytime you get any item like this or uh, like the one from Kurtuga, which is another early game spot, you'll see a lot of the times you'll get these L cards. You could turn those into crystals and then either use the L cards or sell them to buy the crystals you need. But now that we know how to get the crystals, let's talk about how to actually use the crystals. So when you get a crystal uh, in your inventory, basically you will go to the crystals section, which is this right here. Then from there, it'll be highlighted. If you have space in your crystal bag, you get a space of 50. Then you can buy more from the loyalty shop, which I'll show in a second. Basically, they'll be lit, lit up here. You basically right click it and it'll say add to bag. Now, just to be wary that anything that you add to here, you if you want to remove it, you either have to have a crystal extraction tool, which they do give out for free uh, pretty often or you have to use or you have to buy from the pearl shop or it'll just be destroyed if you try to take it out uh without any of the tools now personally i haven't had any issues with this i have 51 crystals and i don't really need any more and i do have four or five different sets for different uh you know occasions pve pvp node wars all that good stuff but yeah just put all your crystals in here that you're going to be using if you need to delete them later, you know, that's fine because normally there'll be beginner crystals early on that you can just destroy because they're super cheap. So once you have the crystals in here, what you're going to do is open up your black spirit with the comma key and then go to transfusion. This is your crystal page. Now, this crystal page is shared across characters. So if I go from this character to a different one, I can open this up and it'll still be the same crystals and I can apply them to any character. So. Uh, up at the top here, we have the different slots. I think you will have four available and then you'll be able to buy the fifth one with loyalties. And then from there, you can buy them with pearls if you actually really need it. And also quest rewards and stuff you sold out there. There's different ways to get them other than just with pearls. From this uh, section, we'll go to this boss one. So basically, how do we do this? We basically click on the plus sign. And then from here, you basically get to uh, assign any crystals you want. Um, you should have 10 slots available to start. You get two more from Land of the Morning Light and then two more from Garmouth Heart. These are the ones I really, really wouldn't worry about at the moment because Garmouth Heart is very hard to get. I have been playing the game for 2,000 hours and I still do not have a Garmouth Heart. It is just a rare item. But, you know, sometimes you'll get lucky and you might get one from Garmouth and that's really sick. You get two more uh, crystal slots. And then from there, once you have your thing set up. Oh, yeah. Also, this middle one is from an outfit. It's not really worth it. You basically just get like a DP or something. It's just not even worth doing. I mean, you can still do it, but it's just whatever. Um, so basically from here, you can uh, click edit name. You can change it to whatever you want. As you can see at the top, I have PvE, PvP, Awaken, PvP, and Node Wars. All that good stuff. And then you can check your crystal effects. And then from there, if you want to use it on your character, you basically just press apply. If this is applied, any of the stats or any of the crystals that you use, you can see right here under crystal effects that they are active. And then what does this mean? That means if you die 
with the this set effective or with these crystals applied you have a chance of losing one of these crystals now for a beginner player which this guide is focused on that isn't too big of a deal because the beginner crystals are super cheap even like if you are bare minimum just like end of season you usually have a couple bill or at least you know eight to five hundred mil in your bank which is way more than enough to uh, get the crystals you need early on so what crystals do you need early on um, I'm not going to give you like a set example because a lot of classes change, but I can give you the bare minimum to start. So at the very earliest, even if you're like not done with season, even if you're just starting and you want to get some crystals to start, I would recommend if you click the P button and you look at abilities here, you'll see that there's attack speed, movement speed, and crit hit. The main ones we want to worry about are attack speed and crit hit. We want these at five because as you can see, the higher the level, the more percentage you get. Uh, you get 20% here at level five and you get 18% here at level five. There are super cheap crystals. If you come over here to the central market and we find crystals, I'm not exactly sure what they called, but if you sort by uh, price, you can find these really cheap crystals that are most likely sold out. But if you just put an order up, they will fill. Uh, let's see if we can find some. I think they're down here. Like this one right here, attack speed plus two. So we need level five so we can get three of these and we'll be at five attack speed. You could just slot three of those in and then you can find the crit hit ones, slot three of those in and now you have level five and level five of both of the things that you need. That's what I would recommend at a bare minimum for like a new account that just wants to get some crystals in for a little bit of extra buffs. And then from there, I would just recommend grabbing yourself uh, some like super cheap AP. You type in uh, power. You can get these really cheap crystals that just do like plus one AP, even ones here that are plus two AP if you want to spend five mil. These are the expensive ones that you usually mid game players run, but these stack infinitely. So let's say you used up six slots for the attack speed and crit speed. You can use six more slots for 12 more AP total just from these if you want to do that. Most people will probably grab a couple of these early on and maybe grab an accuracy type crystal depending on if they need accuracy or not. That's why I'm basically not going to go into a uh, mid game though, is a lot of the crystal builds depend on your class. Like personally for my class, I have a lot of accuracy. Uh, so I don't need accuracy crystals, even though I do still run them just to make sure in case I don't want a headbutt because my headbutt gives a really high accuracy rate. Um, and then, you know, other classes might have, you know, hundred percent crit. Like I know guardian has hundred percent crit, I think just from their passive or very close to that. So they don't have to run a bunch of crit hit crystals. So it's honestly up to you how you want to sort that out. Now, one more thing I want to mention before I end this video is your buffs. So if you look at your buffs, you can see here, Giants Droughts give a crit hit plus three and movement speed plus three. So if you're at the point, I'd say like end of season where you're starting to grind like Kratuga and stuff like that, I'd recommend start using these buffs along with a simple Cron Meal. And as you notice here as well, it gives movement speed plus three and crit hit plus three at the, or plus two and then attack and can speed plus two. So just with this buff and this buff, we're already now maxed so we don't even have to worry about using crystals for those and that's where you can kind of outsource your crystals uh like i have uh two more uh damage focused stuff like crit hit damage ap more ap like i talk about here's all the power ones i have adamantines which are just for knockdown resistance because i was farming a lot of ash forest we have more ap here along with crit hit plus two which i don't really even need but i still have it and then i have uh, more accuracy even though these also have attacks being cast we're using it for the accuracy and then we have more of these for the accuracy as well. Even though I don't even need them, I just like having them in because all the other crystals I would spend are like, you know, 500, 600 mil. And I'm not really worried about that at the moment, even though I am sort of in late game. Um, I just don't really worry about it. I think it's too big of a risk, especially if you're grinding in very risky spots. But yeah, I hope this video did help you guys learn a little bit more about crystals. I know they can be confusing because it's a whole like three, four different menus. You don't know if they break or not. Uh, you don't know like all this different stuff. Uh, but I hope this video did help. Uh, one more quick tip is that uh, crystals don't break in boss rush, so you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, hope this video did help. If it did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.